So today we're going to be playing NBA 2K20 for my team, starting off with a brand new account. And we are going to be using a mix of locker codes, in-game rewards, as well as completing agendas, and maybe buying a player or two off the player market. And in the end, we're going to have a God Squad with four Galaxy Opals, none of which being gambling, of course. But anyway, we're starting it off on Tuesday, I think, hour one, and we're obviously going to watch the trailer first. Here we are in the Owl My Team trailer. Let's skip to the end, which is great. And we're going to pick the uh, the Spurs. Basically, just because Danny Green, again, can cook the CPU. And that's what we're going to need probably for our first couple of games. Danny Green, yeah. Not a terrible card. Give me Victor Wembanyama so we can at least sell him for something. Give me Victor because he sells for 2K. There we go. Victor is going to help us get blocks. And he's also going to sell for quite a bit later on in the video. So that is not a bad, you know, not a bad starter pack. So the first thing I did was log into the mobile app with this account and type in the locker code for a free pink diamond Max Struess. I'm typing in the locker code right here just to get Max Struess because I don't think he's brilliant. But what Max Struess does is it allows me to beat the CPU a little bit easier than with Danny Green. And it's a pink diamond, so I can't... Uh, Really complain too much about getting one. So a pink time max is gonna be nice to have. And with that, we go into our pack market. Let's go open our first pink diamond. Is he gonna make the squad? Hell no, but you know what? It's something. And while Max Drews isn't the best player in the world, he's fine if I need to use him in TTO or TT offline. And as well as that, we open the PS Plus packs, not really cheating because they come on every single account on PlayStation, and we actually get quite lucky when it came to these cards right here. Okay, we just got auctionable Ruby Paul Pierce from our PS Plus pack. That's actually really, really nice. That set us off, and like, again, this isn't cheating because everyone on PlayStation gets PS Plus packs. It's not like it's a it's a thing no one can get. Right, I'm going to straight away look to sell Pierce for five 600. I'm going to look to sell Victor Wembanyama for 2,000. You keep two centers. Okay, so basically what I want to do is I want to get as many blocks as possible, so I'm going to run with two centers that are going to be emeralds, just because they're going to be uh, that much better. So what I want to get is, I want to run Derek Lively, and I want to run him. It's so like 875 for Larry Sanders, just because he'll block shots. These might be almost pretty good, but I prefer Sanders, and an 875 for Derek Lively, that's perfect. And with that, like I can sell Wemby, and I'll get what I get for both of them. So let me sell Wimbanyama. Any of these for 1400? Yeah, let me sell a couple of the 1400 ones. Because, like, this will help me start off big time. So we're going for, we're obviously going to go for Manu at different stages today. Um, I'm going to grind offline for a little bit. So let's see, is there any, like, TT offline challenge that I can do? So the first and easiest rush card to get without having to buy anybody major is probably Grady because you just need to get three Raptors players. Uh, you can see right here when it came to the goals, we managed to buy Chris Boucher for only 500. These Series 2 goals are super cheap. So we managed to buy him. We also bought Gary Trent because he had a pretty decent three ball and we bought Bruce Brown. So we went into TT offline right here, trying to win five games with these and it was very easy. The only thing was is that some of the games were close because I was trying to get three blocks with Boucher in order to get Jaron Jackson Jr. But the wins were very handy. It's a Lakers player, I guess. It's a Lakers player. I'll take it. Not great, but he's a Lakers player. And in our last game right here, we end up getting our third block there with Chris Boucher, and we just have to check it, but then we managed to get it to Bruce Brown, who actually, surprisingly, is a great release. He could be great later in the year. There we go. That's our first of these players. We got Grady. So I'm trying to plan out, like, what the next thing I'm going to do is. Obviously, I'm going to leave the Pacers ones till near DDN, but I decided to buy three Lakers players in Hachimura, um, Cam Reddish, and Ty Lue, because we already have Shaq, so we can use them online if we were to go online. But for offline, we need 150 offline assists with Lakers players. So I decided to put Ty Lu as the um, as my point guard. So we play weak opposition. And then use two shot blockers to get their blocks and just pass to them. So, so far, we're actually doing okay. Through six wins, well, obviously, we are the guts of like a half an hour in. We haven't really done much. We are setting ourselves up quite well. And the good thing is, is that the starter pack players actually do quick solve quite a bit. Especially when you saw the 2000 MT for Victor Wembanyama. So we are, were able to build a decent enough amount of MT up, which allowed us to buy a Leonard Miller, which meant we can complete quite a few of the challenges that need Wild West players, whether it be points in the paint, assists, and he got some blocks. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Okay. TD offline. Might be the damn move. So our team's starting to look half decent right here. And obviously we are th getting single player assists and like Leonard Miller's killing it. He's the best shot blocker we have and he's playing very, very well. That's one hour done. Anyway, we're surprisingly far along after an hour. Still on level one though, which isn't great, but still, still like we've got like nothing towards any of these. But uh, we've got seven of these ones here and we're one game towards getting Thaddeus Young, I guess. At the start of hour two, we are still mostly just focusing on getting ourselves our Thaddeus Young and working towards Gal Gooders. We do get a couple of shacks, which we can use in the exchange. If we do get like a shack and a Bankero, it allows us to exchange for just a base pack of Leap Year. And with the addition of Thaddeus Young, it allows us to try get some Sixers fast break points. Ooh, that's a good pack to get. I could get us something nice, like a Caruso or something would be great from this. Even a Radish will do. Schroeder is terrible. And we were focusing big time on TT offline just so that we weren't having to go online and we were completing some challenges. We'd use the double XP token, probably not the best time to use it, to be honest, but we are still getting a lot of fast break points here with Young. Come on. Oh, it's, it's an auction, but I don't really care. Um, at least I get something for the exchange, I guess. I get something for this leap year exchange. It means just two ruby cards that we can open one of these packs. And we end off hour two by just playing some more TT offline. Honestly, the exact same way as we start off hour three. We need to play a lot of games and get a lot of blocks and a lot of fast break points, to be honest. I mean, we got three bank arrows. Serious look, we can't do anything with them. We literally can't do anything with them. We have to discard them. We continue chipping away with this mode. Like, after this video, trust me, I will never want to play TT offline ever again, lads. Okay, we got a slasher back, and we got our Gale Goodrich, so we've got a diamond right here. So, 10,000 MT. I actually want to try out the pack. Probably shouldn't, but I want to try it out, so I want to just buy it whoever the two cheapest uh, rubies are. Okay, so these are the cheapest rubies, the 2,000 ones. So, he's one of them. And PJ Tucker, these two into the exchange, and we should be all right. So this is gonna be very, very rough. At the same time, we got our Leap Year unsellable pack. Like, what What are the odds on these packs? It's like, getting a Leap Year player would be very, very nice. 15% chance at a pink diamond. So we get a one in 10 chance. That's probably a terrible decision. Spending that six or the 4K for this pack, but at least we locked in the rest of them. Um, we got an Amethyst. No, we had a Sapphire K Cunningham. That's so bad. Three Lakers players, I guess. Maybe. Maybe I can win 15 games with this team. Or win a couple at least. Get some MT. All right. Tough enough team here, I guess. So we're honestly facing some tough opposition. And I'm actually surprised at how good Gail Goodrich played. Like, I thought he was going to be terrible. Shaq Amethyst is still dominant inside. But it was really Gail Goodrich that was carrying in what was a complete shock. Because I thought he was going to be terrible. Obviously, Hachimura can shoot. But Goodrich was great. Oh, we got Peja. Oh my god, we just got Peja in our first TT online game. Oh my god, we are getting, we are getting so lucky. On our second game right here, we're facing three Lakers players. He's already got Reeves. I'm thinking this is going to be a super sweat, but no. Hachimura and Gail Goodrich and Shaq just killing him. Oh my god, oh my god, we just got a pink diamond coach. Oh my god, that is their second game. We have got, I don't know if it's pink diamond or diamond, but we have gotten the two top prizes in our first, or two of the three top prizes in our first two games. Let's see what he gives us. Oh my God. What? This is honestly how I felt after coming up against the two gambling Galaxy Opals right here. But either way, we absolutely demolish them. No amount of gambling money can make you good at the game. This guy wasted so much time and money to be this bad at the game. And, are you kidding me? So we got three of the four top prizes in our first three games. If we get Ja in our next game, I'm going to lose it. And we face a half-decent team right here. <laughs> that is the coolest green animation in the game. The wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing chew man in the basket. That is the coolest green animation. Okay, I got my dub there, I guess. We just got another Varjao. What is going on? So we managed to get up another level. Not that this makes any difference whatsoever. I then look at the agendas and notice to get the uh, guaranteed pink diamond, we just need another TTO in. Oh, not great here. He's got the three Lakers players. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'm getting cooked. I think this is probably the first that... This is going to be the first game where I'm getting cooked. And yeah, when we need one more win after going 4-0, I just flopped to get him to win because we got cooked. I kind of want to just buy these two guys for salary cap. Like, Jalen Suggs and... What's their name? Are super cheap. So where is it? Future, like, it's like 7k. And it just gives me the much better team for salary cap. So we're still playing the TT online game mode. And we are facing just sweat squad after sweat squad. Eventually, I just decided, screw it. All I'm going to do is just try to get my three pointers with Keontae George. Eventually, we do go and face a scrub. And we go and get our uh, win here while hitting seven with him. Okay, showtime. Showtime. This will be a hopefully an all right pack right here. Uh, we got gold, Isaiah Hartenstein. At least we can sell him, I guess. So I started selling a lot of the players that I no longer needed, which is probably the smartest thing to do. Like, there's no point having dead weight when you're just looking to make the best team rather than just having a big collection because collector level cards are kind of useless. We end up facing some guys that are, like, playing the game seriously. And if someone's playing the game seriously against us, it's going to be very hard to win. Sometimes like this... I obviously am able to pass the ball, but other times you'll see in the video, I'll just take my L in order to complete my challenges. We go and buy a Shane Battier and a Jeremy Sohan, two guys that are really cheap in for salary cap and are competent. Like, we only need one more position for our salary cap team. This is a terrible salary cap team in hindsight, you'll see later. But we do need to build up around 14-ish thousand MT for who we want. Because, thankfully, as you can see right here, we are getting cooked, but also cooking people with the hem. Keontae George and getting our Jazz three-pointers up right here. Did I just hear my voice in the background? I'm like pretty sure I heard someone watching one of my videos in the background while on the mic to me in this game, which was funny. But in the end, we uh, we got a lot of Jazz three-pointers and it kind of helped us. We earned uh, quite a bit of MT as well. All right, so I need to buy a... I actually genuinely have to buy DeAndre Ayton just because he's big. He's a legit big, and he's going to get rebounds. What do I need? 14,500 MT. Why do I think it was 13,000? One more game, I guess. I mean, one more game in order to get him and start to go into salary cap at the end of the fourth hour. I apologize if you guys can hear anything in the background, but we should have our salary cap team right here. Let me go and put in... Okay, no, we need to buy one more player. We need to buy one player right here. I apologize again if you guys can hear something in the background. This is very cold, so I need the heater on. So we got Inferno. We are going to put in DeAndre Ayton. 14,555. That it should be enough for us to start on the salary cap. DeAndre Ayton get in here. DeAndre Ayton's gonna play just because he's the, got the Suns rebounds. And we have another 1,100 to play around with. So the first thing that I make sure I do is change all of my controller settings. The last thing I want is to automatically lose a game and maybe take a bang because I'm on set point on the second day. All right, I think I've got a pretty much better team here. Honestly, Salary Cap is an interesting game because it was very hard because I needed to get three dunks with a player really before I could start playing. So there were a lot of games that were close and I pulled away or I had to come back from a huge deficit. Oh my God, we can get a man Tom or a Sarah Thompson. I don't know which is the easiest place to drop. Probably this side. Oh, someone doing the exact same thing I'm doing, trying to win with Lakers players and uh, get boards with DeAndre Ayton. This game right here, we were playing, again, trying to get those dunks was tough because we were going into cam, we were taking a lot of layups, and my opponent, in his defense, cooked me with Austin Reeves. And it was at the stage where, if I was down a little bit, I didn't feel like I was going to come back. I wanted the game to be ended as quickly as possible. This game right here, we start off well. Unfortunately, I think it was quite a while for us to get our dunks. Hachimura is, was the guy we were using, and we won comfortably enough. And we were looking through the agendas. I'm making good headway at all of them, but I haven't completed many. I'm trying to do like three or four at the same time. And we're looking for Jazz three-point shooters. And I'm not the biggest fan of Keontae George. So I'm deciding to play a couple of games until I can get enough MT for Taylor Hendricks and then go and get him. We were obviously trying to use DeAndre Ayton to get his dunks. A lot of games, or not a lot of games, a couple of games we weren't getting our dunks, which was a little bit annoying. But at least we were winning and at least we were gaining something from it. So we got the Lunar New Year's pack right there. I don't think you're going to get anything from the looks, but like maybe someone that we got, we can get quite cheap for the, uh, for salary. <coughs> um, this is not what we want. There's only one that's even decent. It's not Harrington. Like slow-mo is useless. And that is slow-mo, isn't it? Yeah, he is absolutely useless. There is no use for him. He will not end up playing for me. 
But if this is a... The only thing is, though, is, like, I'll take the, like, 6 or 7k MT if this is sellable. Because he's not a very good card. Um, where is slow-mo? He is sellable. So I'll take the 8,000 MT. That's more than enough. So I'm going to actually pick up Austin Reeves. Just to make things a lot easier when it comes to um, the salary cap games. Because, like, he is quite a bit better than um, Cam Reddish. Actually, you know what? I don't need Austin Reeves. Let me just go and pick up... Let's go with a Jazz player, I guess. So, yeah. So, as good as Paige has been, I'm going to buy Taylor Hendricks for 19k. Then use the last 6k to get, like, a, ruby, a cheap Ruby point guard. That will be able to play in the team. Um... So Taylor Hendricks going to come in for him because I think he's probably 4,000. No, he's only 2 100 salary cap. That gives us quite a lot of room to work with here, actually, for 6K. Is there any good point guards I can get for this price? Well, better than George, anyway. Honestly, I'll spend 2,000 on, um, what's his name, on Larry Hughes because Larry Hughes did really, really well for me in one of my other videos. So 2,000 MT on him. He's very low as far as salary cap goes. And it just means that I can kind of... He'll hold us over for a few games until we're able to afford... Actually, what's Goodrich? 6,000. We can't afford Goodrich. I'll be able to afford... Um, what's his name? I'll be able to get Jordan Clarkson. Should help with the Jazz three-pointers here. Um, at some stage. Or we probably do need a better power forward than him, though. Can I put... Does Peja work? I need to lose 500 somewhere. And I needed to save 500 salary somewhere without really losing anything. So I decided to bring in Eddie Jones for Cam Reddish. I think they're two players of a very similar standard. While Eddie Jones is more expensive MT-wise. For that reason, he's actually way cheaper salary-wise. We sell miscellaneous stuff and we end up getting him. A little bit expensive, Eddie Jones is, honestly. But what Eddie Jones allows me to do is... He allows me to play Peja, basically. So Eddie Jones for Cam Reddish. Unless I do think Cam Reddish is pretty good. Um, Eddie Jones allows me to play Peja in my team. And our starting lineup is... Honestly, better than it was. And, well, our starting line is probably a little bit worse than it was, but our bench lineup is way better than it was. Um, our bench lineup should be able to compete with anybody. This team's going to be tough. Oh, uh, maybe not. And in this game right here, we start off pretty well. Like, once we can get Taylor Hendricks on the pop and open, he's going to make 75, 80% of his shots. Yeah, this game's won, so... Taylor Hendricks is back in, and we're just going to try a threes with him, because, like... I don't think that'll be the hardest thing in the world to do. It's like, if he's open, he's never going to miss. Yeah, he's just face guarding Taylor Hendricks right now. So we were up 44, I think, to 21. And uh, he's on an 11 0 run purely from face guarding Taylor Hendricks. So I'm going to rack cut him because he's not guarding it. Good. Let's win. And this game wasn't too bad right here. We were facing a full Jazz lineup, not just running one player. And this ended up just being a complete shoot off. Um, we face another guy right here and this guy's team was stacked. He had the best team I'd seen. He was all money spent. He was pretty good. We were close for a while and he just started to pull away and I let him win as quickly as possible because I wanted to get out of that game because he wasn't letting me hit threes or really dunk the ball that easily. This team, I don't know how they could afford this. How do you get this team in salary cap? We didn't start off this game well. We couldn't get our three dunks in the first six minutes, which was a little bit annoying. However, late on in the game, it was getting very, very close and... I mean, I took the dub instead of getting the dunks. I don't know if that was a smart or not smart decision. I was kind of hell. That was absolutely hell to end it. I don't think we got the dunk achievement, though, which is annoying in that game. But we got the dub, I guess. Oh, that, that was an annoying, an annoying game right there. So in this game right here, we're down quite a little bit. And in my defense, my opponent is pretty good. And it was close. He pulled away a little bit. And as always, once my opponent pulls away, I just want to get out of these games as quickly as possible once I get my ducks. Sell Eddie Jones. And I'm going to, like, just because I want to get these wins quick, I can lose. I can afford to lose MT. I'm not, like, I mean, ain't too crazy. Let's just go Tis the Season Presence. Let me just buy Austin Reeves. Oh, I don't have enough MT. Wow. So to get the last bit of MT for Reeves, I quick sell a couple of shoes, a couple of like logos that I'm never going to use, and we end up getting them. There we go. Let's put him into the team. I'll take it. This is this is a really nice team, and we at least have a ball handler. Oh, no. Why is everyone's team so stacked in salary cap? I'm out here running with like rubies and amethysts and emeralds, and everyone's out here with full pink diamond teams. 
I'm not gonna lie, like Austin Reeves is probably the best player we had all salary cap. Like Pedro Stoyakovic had nothing in Austin Reeves, and honestly, that Opal Austin Reeves is absolutely incredible. He had our first 13 points right here, and after we get a couple of dunks, we do end this on a Taylor Hendricks three. Oh my God. Come on. The two times I've wanted to get Aiden, a man Thompson, Doc Rivers, I've missed it. I've hit it, I think, every other time. I'm gonna hit it, let's go. Give me Doc. I don't know if Doc's better than Rick Adelman, but give me Doc. I'll take a pink diamond coach. No, Doc's definitely better. Doc's definitely better. Oh, this team's kind of hell. This team's very hell. It's weird facing a near full season one squad right here, but we do hit a three with Aiden to try and maybe pull him out of the paint a little bit because again, we're playing well. The problem is that while going for our dunks, we're letting guys back into the game. And Jeremy Lin, surprisingly, is actually very, very good as we lose. Doesn't matter. We got the challenge. Wins don't matter. We then face a not great player who ends up forcing threes with Utah players, but he didn't leave my guys open, so I didn't leave his guys open. This might be if I thought when I lose this game, because I don't have my dunks yet. I don't have a dunk. Like it's not even like I'm close to the dunks. I don't have a dunk yet. Which means genuinely that because I'm trying to get my dunks and I'm not gonna be able to come back down 10 and get my dunks. This guy barely has two thumbs. But he's just pain sitting. And when I can't get my dunks, I'm gonna lose. Like this guy wasn't fully like not trying to win the game, but we were going for dunks and he was packing the paint. He was just trying to now make sure I didn't do challenges. He was terrible, by the way. Like legitimately terrible. He just wanted to stop me doing challenges. In the end, we win very comfortably. Once we get the dunks, we start absolutely destroying this guy. I genuinely would have just done a shootout with that guy. I would have genuinely done a shootout with him. But his refusal to leave my Taylor Hendricks open from the start. He face guarded my Taylor Hendricks, so I don't care that he was going for Jazz. I destroyed him. Well, I beat him slightly comfortably in the end. And this game right here, we're facing off against another guy using Pistol Pete Maravich. You can see he's got pit three Jazz players. You know exactly what he wants to do. And it ends up being a shootout right here where we thankfully end up taking our dub. And that is three pointer, a hundred. Thank you for letting me win that game. And we got our 103 pointers. That is a big win right there. And we got our dunks as well. Another time seeing Pistol Pete. It's nice seeing guys like helping each other out. This game right here, we were looking for our rebounds with DeAndre Ayton. We were chucking bricks and getting every single board with him. I think we ended up with like near 30 boards with DeAndre Ayton as we get the dub. Ooh, Gortat's actually a really nice player to get. Like I don't think Magic players are relevant, but Gortat's actually pretty good. Like he's got a good release. He plays defense. He's um, a good shooter. Like, yeah, oh, that's a very, very nice card to get from this. Martin Gortat is good. Is he spectacular? No, but he's good. So we are one win away from getting. So we got Diamond Matt Harpering. See how far we are. We're two more. So I need to play two more games. Two losses will get me that anyway. Just get my three dunks. 34 rebounds off. Not that bad a position. Like we are like seven and a bit hours in. And I probably will end up going to like 13, a bit more than like 13 hours, I think, is what I'm probably gonna go to. Because I'm gonna complete TT offline as well. And I wanna complete these three and TT offline. But yeah, this is a, we're in a decent enough spot right here. Like, other than this, which is gonna be annoying, we're, uh, we're in an all right spot. So I'm looking to try to see are there any real rebounding Phoenix Suns players and there's really not like rebounding is one thing the Suns don't do particularly well. So in the end, we just keep Taylor Hendricks in the team. I don't really need him, but he's just there. Obviously, this guy is going to be trying to use his uh, his jazz players and we end up getting the dub. I'll take it. We got Lou Hudson. And after getting Lou Hudson, I thought I had done enough to get ourselves uh, Jerry Stackhouse, but we needed to win one more or get three dunks one more game. I got three dunks and then let my opponent win the game as quickly as possible, shooting with Jazz players. I'll take it. Pink Diamond, Jerry Stackhouse. Oh, playing so much. 15 boards. I'm not that far. I'm genuinely not that far off getting um, this completed. I'm surprisingly, I'm not far off getting all these completed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not far off at all. So we needed some Lakers wins. I go and use a better three from the Lakers right now. We've got the duo. 
kind of helps us like not the, that much height we do face another lakers player but we end up getting a dub gail goodrich was surprisingly brilliant in this video i'm not gonna lie that's michael cooper there we go oh it's getting uh it's it's getting long i wouldn't mind an Embiid out of this an Embiid or we can't even get cap but an Embiid would be lovely um definitely don't want ig live jar right there we do need to buy a Pacers player to get the five 47-point games, and Benedict Mather and Emerald is who I choose. I don't need to keep Austin Reeves. Let's get rid of him. I don't need Lakers players anymore. So honestly, let's just get rid of all the guys that I don't need anymore. I do still need DeAndre Ayton. We end up selling quite a lot of our players here because there's no point having them. Like, a lot of our Lakers players, Franz Wagner, a lot of our salary cap players are, like, there's no point in really having them in the squad right now. We go and pick up a Rajah Bell. Basically, just because he allows us to get some rebounds, I guess. And my opponent knew I was going for rebounds, so he was double-teaming my rebounder and leaving my shooters open, which was extremely, extremely annoying. But thankfully, we were able to get quite a lot of rebounds. Like, initially, I was leaving them open with Jazz players. By the end, I wasn't. And at the same time, I wasn't even trying to score. Like, I was leaving them open here. He stopped letting me get rebounds. We do go and get our 100 rebounds, which is grand, though. Here we go. I got my rebounds anyway. He got his dub. I'll take it. Give me Danny Manning. I don't need to use Phoenix Suns players anymore, and I can discard eight. And the next thing we are on to is 100 points in the paint with Nuggets players in clutch time. So I end up just picking up two big players that are, like, low tiers. And make the ice on a tumbo, basically, because they're going to make it easy. And Doug Collins is going to help me get the last couple of Philadelphia 76ers fast break points. We also have in... Um, Leonard Miller. The reason why we have Leonard Miller in is because we need 75 um, assists with Wild West. I'm pretty sure once we get those 75 assists, we have our free pink diamond leap year player. But yeah, that's all we did for the next hour or so. I really don't want, couldn't care less about getting LeBron, one of my least favorite players in all of my team right here. We at least got Fultz. We got another point guard, I guess, right there. And after getting Fultz, we continued to just run in layups. All right, so we got um, we got Lafonso Ellis anyway. So that means we just, we're not too far off getting James Worthy. Not, honestly, not too far off this either. And 14 games of TT offline away. Could be worse. Could be worse. 23 pointers. That's fairly easy as well. And at the end of our nine, we have 22 wins. We need 78 more. Honestly, like, I'm getting around 25 an hour. But the problem is that we've ordered some other stuff to do as well. So I initially planned on doing this in 12 hours. Yeah, it was going to take me about 15 or so. And we end up going into the Ascension and getting nothing. Unless you're really lucky in 2K24, you are getting nothing in this. All right, I want to beat single-player TTO very quickly. So I'm actually going to buy a guy that you mightn't think that I would buy. And it's not from Legendary Path. It's from Mirage, isn't it? Where is Corver? Why is he 14K? Either way, he's going to make this so much easier. So I spend the next while literally just out here playing TT offline, shooting with Kyle Korver. Trust me, he makes it so much easier. Getting that Ruby Kyle Korver makes it so much easier, but it is incredibly boring. Not going to lie, I had a video playing on the other screen, and we actually went into Leap Year Challenges because we were looking for our assists, obviously, and once we completed these, we ended up getting our free pink diamond. And surprisingly enough... The eight dunks took forever because after a couple of dunks, they do whatever they can to not let you dunk the CPU. All right, a little bit of MT there, and we should have a Leap Year Deluxe pack as well with that. Logo word doesn't matter. Sharpshooter, I don't care. I should have a Leap Year Deluxe. There we go, yeah, Leap Year Deluxe. I don't honestly know where everything has come, in, has come from, but let's, uh, let's open up these packs right here first of all. Open the, you know, I'm gonna leap your base, leap your, and then leap your deluxe because there's a chance we get something decent out of these, I guess. Leap your base, yeah, we're not getting anything. Dorian Finney Smith, leap your normal. I'd love a pink diamond out of one of these, out of this. This one would be nice. So obviously, we're gonna be getting a pink diamond in the next one. We got uh, an emerald, or is that an amethyst? No, it's an emerald. We got a manual quickly. No, am I looking? I'm gonna get Nate Robinson here. Like a one in six chance. Is he the only, I think he's the only, like him and Brent Barry are the two like absolute garbage ones. Uh, I think that's Pink Diamond. I actually, I'm so colorblind, I don't know. 
Um, small forward. It's Brent Barry. Oh, it's Brent Barry. Literally, there's two guys I didn't want, and it's Brent Barry and Nate Robinson. We got Brent Barry. He's so bad. Like, is he? Is he as bad as I've made him out? I just want to try out that release because obviously I think Brent Barry for the start of the year I thought Brent Barry sucked but maybe I'm wrong uh, no he kind of sucks <laughs> he's not terrible he kind of sucks and we finish off our number 10 by doing exactly what we were doing before trying to get some blocks and obviously just shooting three pointers with Kyle Korver and I'm not gonna lie like I am freaking miserable we end the hour on 35 wins, still in our 65 to go. And I thought that out of 38 wins that I would have had blocks in enough games. I clearly didn't to get Jaron Jackson Jr. We were nowhere near. I think we had only 25. We missed Steph Curry there, which is annoying. But at least two games later, we get Paolo Bancaro. And yeah, we're actually doing okay. We got Bancaro there this time. Okay, another Bancaro. Can't do anything with him. Literally can't do anything with him. 1,000 MT. So we end the day on 53 wins, obviously slower because we have to go for the blocks. And yeah, that's it for today. And I start streaming the next day. About to get, I get somebody now, don't I? I get Jaron Jackson Jr. here, I think. Yeah, Jaron Jackson Jr. Building a squad from scratch and I'm like 11-ish hours in. And this is my team. So live on stream, I decided to go and get the Pacers agendas done where all we did was just shoot threes and shoot some mid ranges with and Benedict Matherin to get the games over with like I was very bored on stream doing this so much so that I started looking at pictures of me from four years ago I'm not gonna lie 23 year old me look 30 I don't think I've aged since then but yeah in the end we get this done we got our first opal lads we did it we just got our first galaxy opal spam them w's in chat we got all the depot and spam them w's in chat spam them w's we got our very first Galaxy Opal right here. We got Galaxy Opal James Worthy. To start our 13, right after getting our first Opal, we need to make 23 pointers with Wild West players. That's the last thing we need to do in order to get our second Opal. And honestly, I did not care about winning. I did not care whatsoever. I was just shooting three pointers with Leonard Miller. And not only did it cause me to lose, it caused me to lose a lot, whether my opponents were letting me or not. I was still taking a lot of L's. Did not matter though because the dub was getting reefs. All I can say, lads, is that did you not see what we're just doing right here? Have you seen what we're doing? We got Lamont Murray, lads. We got Lamont Murray. And you want to know what Lamont Murray means we get? We got Austin Reeves, lads. We've got Austin Reeves. And we've done that within 12 hours. Within 12 hours, we built this team right here. After completing all these challenges, we went right back to just dribbling down and shooting in the CPU's face. And we end up getting two Ruby players to get another Leap Year Normal pack. There's a chance, like everybody's talking about how these packs were incredible. And I'm not gonna lie, like I did not get anything. I did not get anything of note. Like I thought I got an Opal right here. So I was like celebrating on stream and it was a freaking diamond jam around series two card who is borderline useless and we end the hour with 62 wins 38 to go lads and that is us pretty much done for the video afterwards i don't know why but i haven't i have a wild west deluxe pack right now i genuinely have no idea why i have a wild west deluxe pack but i have a wild west deluxe pack um i mean it's probably alvarado no it's Who? Terry Cum? Terry Cummings? All right. I had no idea he played for Clippers. I don't know why. I just thought that he was he only played for the Bucks. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I got that pack. I really don't know why I did. Probably not getting any of note in this pack here. Amethyst. Cam Thomas. Um, no, Reggie Jackson. Oh, Fred Van. No, Tyus Jones. I've completely forgot he was in these packs. At least every game of TT offline gives us a chance of a decent reward. Okay. 
All right, I'll take my I'll take my pink diamond curry. I'll take my pink diamond curry. And we continue, bored out of my mind, to dribble down the floor, shoot a contested three with Kyle Korver, and it go in eight out of ten times. And at least we went and we got our diamond chat home run. That's not too bad at all. Getting chat is pretty nice right there. And we just need to open... I just need to open just a bunch of these packs. Hopefully, I can get something that's like a duplicate. And if I can get a duplicate, it means that I'll be able to discard and get some MT. Please be Jaw. Please be Jaw. Give me my... Because Jaw, I can put him into the pack. Damn it. It's AD. Not even terrible in game, but I just don't want them. So I end up just opening a whole bunch of just the miscellaneous packs. Not like they get me anything. Just on the off chance, I get something that I can discard. Because I am working towards getting to 126k to buy one huge, huge player for the team, lads. I'll take that. Okay, cool. Um, add to the exchange. Okay, cool. Iconic. We just need two rubies. And obviously, I need to... Um, I need to get the 126k so that I can buy um, Franz Wagner first. I need that for a video. Oh, we've gotten Bankero three in a row. That is kind of wild. And we got our 5,000 MT right there. So what we're going to do, first of all, just in case we happen to get him in a pack, I'm going to go to Season 3, Tis the Season. Get me the two cheapest Ruby cards I can find. I me Bran Roy. And get me Dennis Johnson. Two very cheap Ruby players. So we're going to go to the exchange because I do just need two Ruby players here. And I don't want to sell Corver because Corver is literally the only thing that's getting me through this. So we're going to go and do this right here. Um, pack market. There we go. Unopen packs. We've got the unsellable pack right here. Please, please shake. I've opened like five of these. No shakes whatsoever. We had DeJounte Murray. That is horrific. But for the last player until the TTO cards, we have 25 games of this, which is about two more hours, I'd say. And we're at like hour 13 right now. Um, we've got worth like 13 hours in, I'd say. So let's go and go to the collection. And let's get one of the iconic players. So we're going to pick up Franz Wagner. Even though obviously... Um, we don't need any more shooting guards or small forwards, but like, let's just put Franz in. Let's put the Franz Wagner fella in. This is going to be a great player to get because we've got him like insanely good. And then obviously, um, I'll see what we can get by the end. What do we else do we get for going up in the way in TTO? So we get 10k for that at least. Then we get Middleton. So we've got like, we've got Franz in the team and Franz is going to come in for like a Lou Hudson or something. So yeah, let's start Franz, because I'm probably going to play. Matt Harpering is going to probably go. Because both Ginobili and... What's his name are coming in? Both Ginobili and... Jeez, I forgot his name. Franz probably played a three. Ginobili and Chris Middleton are coming in. And that's probably it. The two of those guys, and I'm going to get someone at center to replace him. Fine Carroll probably play power forward, so worthy. But uh, yeah, great player we can get here in Franz. And with just over an hour to go, we put Corver in with some golds and again, continue to just constantly shoot in the CPU's face. And we're now on our final shot right here. Just walk past halfway line, press the square button, and it goes in. I've got Carl Corver's release down to a T right now. And that is it, lads. We've done it. We have completed a game mode. And it's, well, to be fair, we completed. Was it unlimited in my last video? I would have rather got a thousand there, but it doesn't really matter. So, we do get two Galaxy Ovals. We get our Galaxy Oval Chris Middleton, which is great to get. And then we're going to go into Agendas. If it gives me one more token, double XP for 60 minutes, great. We got our Manu Ginobili as well. I just want to see as far as packs go, um, just getting some tokens. To open 25, 7. You open 32 packs. How many do I have unopened? A lot less than 32. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the tokens in order to get Derek Coleman. I'm not playing the game anymore, the game with two tokens. And we got a Terrence Mann. Pretty good card, but kind of useless. So we do have our 39k MT, and there's, there's only one player I want to buy for 39k MT, because I do want to get a backup center. 36,750. Give me um, him. 
And then, yeah, that should be kind of it for the squad. So let's replace him with him. So he's going to be in starting center. And we're obviously, we're going to be starting the Opals. We're going to be starting the Opals here. Give me the fourth Opal. And who are we going to run with? We're going to go Fultz. Shooting guard is going to be Cooper. Franz, small forward. I'm going to put Bancaro in the team. No, Chet, Jaron Jackson Jr. I like this. And the last three. Who are the best three guys I have for the bench? Bancaro, Peja. And I got a point guard. Is Staff a shout? Is Staff a shout? Yeah, I'll put Staff in there. So this is what we've come up with, lads. 15 hours. Like, I think timing it out, it was like 14. It's 14 hours, 51 minutes overall. Because I've like just cut my video up. I've stopped it on the hour. I think we're at about 14 hours, 51. Could be between that and maybe 15 hours, 10. But 15 hours to build this team. Four Galaxy Opals. The rest of the team, like four Galaxy Opals, we've got two. We got what, four diamonds in here. But at the same time, we have got um, five pink diamonds. So we could go all pink diamonds. So yeah, really not a bad team, lads. Especially for how quickly we did it. 